It has long been known that Starship will eventually be launched from Florida, but now SpaceX has stated that this could happen as early as the end of this year. This announcement is entirely credible, as all ongoing activities in Florida are pointing toward this promising future. Recently, SpaceX has ambitiously confirmed that they are pushing for a launch from Launchpad 39A at Kennedy Space Center by the end of 2025. This news was widely shared during the March 3rd live broadcast of Starship's launch attempt from Boca Chica, Texas at Starbase. During the Monday evening broadcast, Christopher Gebhardt from SpaceX Communications discussed the upcoming plans for Starship. We plan to complete the Starship launch pad at Pad 39A later this year, and pending the completion of the environmental reviews, SpaceX intends to conduct the first Starship launch from Florida Pad 39A later this year, said Gebhardt. The project includes at least $1.8 billion of SpaceX capital investment and will bring an estimated 600 new full-time jobs to the Space Coast by 2030, the governor's office said. With 600 new full-time jobs and the historic addition of Starship launches from Florida, this expansion strengthens our economy, grows our aerospace workforce, and solidifies our leadership in the next generation of space exploration, said U.S. Rep. Mike Herodopoulos. This investment is a testament to SpaceX's confidence in Florida's central role in spaceflight, and we are proud to support the groundbreaking missions that will lift off from our shores. SpaceX later reaffirmed this, once again on its page. Expansion of Starship production and launch operations in Florida will enable SpaceX to significantly increase the build and flight rates for Starship, the company stated in an update posted on its website. With production, integration, refurbishment, and launch facilities in Florida as well as Texas, we will be in a position to quickly ramp Starship's launch rate via rapid reusability. This also received a positive response from Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. He reshared SpaceX's tweet with a message expressing strong support for the company's decision and even offered sincere advice to NASA. Congratulations to SpaceX on your recently announced plans to bring Starship operations to Florida. With leading space companies, now including SpaceX, investing in the free state of Florida, NASA should scrap their expensive new HQ in DC and consider moving to Florida as well. So, what exactly has SpaceX been doing in Florida? While SpaceX acknowledges that environmental assessments from the Space Force and the FAA won't be released until later this year, construction of the massive Gigabay at KSC, which will be used to stack and finalize the 232-foot-tall Super Heavy boosters before launch, could begin as early as next month. This is a remarkably fast timeline, especially considering that the Gigabay in Texas is still in its early preparation phase, despite being announced to the public first. The Gigabay facility in Florida is poised to become one of SpaceX's most expansive and advanced integration hubs, meticulously engineered to handle the assembly, refurbishment, and processing of both the upper stage of the Starship spacecraft and the colossal Super Heavy booster. Towering at an impressive height of 380 feet, this state-of-the-art complex will boast an astonishing internal volume of 46.5 million cubic feet complemented by a sprawling 815,000 square feet of dedicated workspace. This ambitious project represents a monumental leap forward in SpaceX's infrastructure, designed to meet the growing demands of its revolutionary space exploration endeavors. Among its standout features, Gigabay will house 24 specialized work bays, each tailored for the intricate tasks of integration and refurbishment. These bays will serve as the backbone of the facility, enabling simultaneous operations on multiple components of the Starship system with unparalleled efficiency. Adding to its capabilities, the facility will be equipped with cranes capable of lifting to 400 U.S. tons, double the capacity of SpaceX's existing facilities. This enhanced lifting power will streamline the handling of the massive Super Heavy booster and other oversized components, reducing downtime and accelerating production timelines. The uppermost level of Gigabay is thoughtfully designed to accommodate the brilliant minds driving SpaceX's missions forward. This top-tier workspace will be reserved for engineering teams and mission planners, offering a commanding view of the bustling operations below. With ample room for collaboration and innovation, this area will foster the development of cutting-edge solutions and meticulous mission strategies, ensuring that every launch is executed with precision and foresight. When compared to the Megabay at Starbase, Gigabay emerges as a titan in its own right. It will offer an astonishing 11 times the floor space, dwarfing its predecessor and providing a vastly expanded canvas for SpaceX's ambitious projects. With 19 additional work bays, bringing the total to 24, Gigabay will significantly boost the company's capacity to refurbish starships, 
and prepare them for launch at an unprecedented scale. This dramatic increase in processing power will enable SpaceX to manage a higher volume of vehicles, supporting the rapid cadence of launches required for missions to Earth's orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. In essence, Gigabay is more than just a facility, it's a cornerstone of SpaceX's vision for the future of space travel. By combining cutting-edge engineering with sheer scale, it will empower the company to push the boundaries of what's possible, transforming the Starship program into a robust, high-throughput operation capable of meeting the challenges of interplanetary exploration head-on. The groundwork for the ambitious Gigabay facility in Florida is already underway, marking the beginning of a transformative chapter for SpaceX's operations on the East Coast. Site preparation has commenced with meticulous attention to detail, laying the foundation for a complex that is expected to become fully operational by the end of 2026. The Florida Gigabay is set to play a pivotal role in long-term vision, serving as a critical hub for assembly, refurbishment, and launch preparations. Simultaneously, SpaceX is mirroring this effort with the construction of a parallel Gigabay at its Starbase facility in Texas. Strategically located adjacent to the Starship Star Factory, SpaceX's dedicated manufacturing plant for the Starship system, this Texas Gigabay will further enhance the company's ability to streamline production and processing. The synergy between the Star Factory and the Gigabay in Texas will create a seamless workflow, allowing SpaceX to refine its manufacturing processes while scaling up the refurbishment and integration of Starships and Super Heavy boosters. This dual Gigabay approach underscores SpaceX's strategy of distributing its operational capacity across key locations to maximize efficiency and resilience. Beyond the Gigabay projects, SpaceX has even grander plans in store for Florida. The company is actively designing a second star factory to be co-located with the Florida Gigabay, mirroring the integrated production model already established at Starbase. This Florida-based star factory will focus on the local manufacturing of starships and super heavy boosters, reducing reliance on external supply chains and transportation logistics. Once operational, it will enable SpaceX to produce these massive vehicles on-site, streamlining the path from factory floor to launch pad. This development will position Florida as a self-sufficient hub for starship operations, capable of supporting the full life cycle of these next-generation spacecraft. However, until the Florida Gigabay and its accompanying Star Factory reach full operational status, SpaceX has devised a practical interim solution to keep its launch schedule on track. Starship vehicles and their components will be transported from Texas to Florida via barges, a logistical feat that ensures continuity during the transition period. This maritime transport strategy will allow SpaceX to initiate early launches from Florida's advantageous coastal facilities while the local production infrastructure ramps up. By leveraging its Texas-based manufacturing capabilities in the short term, SpaceX can maintain momentum in its Starship program. Alongside the construction of Gigabay and Star Factory in Florida, SpaceX is also accelerating progress on its robust launch infrastructure at the Kennedy Space Center, specifically at Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A. This historic site, renowned for hosting the Apollo missions that landed humans on the moon and the Crew Dragon flights that revitalized American crewed spaceflight, is now being transformed to accommodate the next generation of space exploration. At LC-39A, SpaceX is diligently constructing a cutting-edge launch and catch tower tailored for the Starship system, marking a pivotal expansion of its operational footprint on Florida's space coast. The centerpiece of this development is a state-of-the-art launch and catch tower, meticulously designed to integrate lessons learned from the two existing Starship towers at Starbase in Texas. This new structure will serve dual purposes. It will facilitate the precise stacking and launching of the Starship spacecraft atop its super heavy booster, and it will also enable the ambitious feat of catching the returning booster mid-air using advanced mechanical arms. By refining the tower's design based on real-world experience, SpaceX aims to enhance reliability and efficiency, ensuring that LC-39A becomes a cornerstone of its Starship operations. Besides, to achieve the ambitious launch cadence required for its Starship program, SpaceX is actively exploring additional launch opportunities beyond the Kennedy Space Center. One such prospect is Space Launch Complex 37, SLC-37, at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, CCSFS, a site with a rich legacy and strategic potential. As part of this effort, SpaceX has initiated an Environmental Impact Statement, EIS, to evaluate the feasibility of adapting SLC-37 for Starship missions. 
This comprehensive assessment will analyze the environmental implications and infrastructural adjustments needed to support the massive Starship spacecraft and its super-heavy booster, ensuring that any development aligns with regulatory and ecological standards. Why SLC-37? SLC-37 boasts a storied past that underscores its suitability for cutting-edge spaceflight. Originally constructed in the 1960s for NASA's Apollo program, the complex played a vital role in the early days of American space exploration, supporting launches of the Saturn I and Saturn IB rockets. These missions laid critical groundwork for the eventual moon landings. Decades later, from 2002 to 2024, SLC-37 transitioned to hosting launches of the United Launch Alliance's Delta IV rocket, proving its adaptability to evolving aerospace technologies. This historical versatility makes SLC-37 a fitting candidate for SpaceX's next-generation Starship system, blending legacy with innovation. The geographic advantages of SLC-37 further enhance its appeal. Positioned along Florida's space coast, the site offers direct access to a diverse array of orbital trajectories, making it an optimal launch point for a wide range of missions. Whether targeting deep space exploration, lunar expeditions, or interplanetary voyages to Mars, SLC-37's proximity to the equator and its unobstructed eastward launch path provide ideal conditions for maximizing payload efficiency and orbital flexibility. Perhaps the most compelling reason for pursuing SLC-37 is its potential to boost SpaceX's launch frequency dramatically. Once both LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center and SLC-37 at CCSFS are fully operational for Starship missions, SpaceX will possess dual launch capabilities on the Space Coast. This parallel infrastructure will enable the company to significantly increase the tempo of Starship flights, catering to a diverse clientele that includes NASA, national security agencies, and commercial partners. Such a high cadence operation is critical for supporting large-scale projects like satellite constellation deployments, lunar resupply missions, and the eventual buildup of a Martian transportation network. Now, SpaceX has already secured a restricted right of entry for SLC-37, granting its engineering and planning teams access to the site. This authorization allows for detailed assessments of the existing infrastructure, as well as preliminary planning for the modifications required to accommodate Starship launches. These evaluations will inform the design of launch towers, support structures, and ancillary systems tailored to the unique demands of the Starship vehicle. Meanwhile, the ongoing EIS will play a decisive role in shaping the timeline for future operations. The study's findings, expected to address factors such as noise, wildlife impact, and coastal ecosystem preservation, will determine when and how SpaceX can commence Starship activities at CCSFS. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.